Hello everyone. So, like we have discussed current like magnetic effects of electric current, and now we have to discuss the problems in it. So, like the exercise problems, we will discuss first. So, first one, the MCQ type of question. So, we will discuss one by one. So, first one, the question number one, I will read. The magnetic field, you have to refer the textbook along with me. You have to refer the textbook. The textbook question only I am discussing. Backside question, page number 199. Question number one. The magnetic field at the center of the following current loop is. What will be the magnetic field at the center of the current loop? So the current loop it is given here. So look at this. Here one uh, semicircular ring is there, and then one straight conductor and another straight conductor. Two straight conductors are there. So one thing it is very clear that those two straight conductors they will not produce any magnetic field at the center O. They will not produce any magnetic field at center O. Why? Because on the axis, so a straight current carrying conductor will not produce any magnetic field at the at its odd axis. So it, it is zero. So this will be this will not produce any magnetic field. This will not produce any magnetic field. What about this one? This one will be a half circle at the center. What is a full circle at the center? Mu zero i divided by two r. So mu zero i divided by two r, the half of that mu zero i divided by four r, and also the direction we have to find out. The option direction is also given. So look at this. How do you find out that? I I, I have taught you like uh, this one, right hand palm rule. Uh, this is the direction of current inside 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 the uh, current carrying loop. Okay. So inside to the paper into the paper. So that is what is the first question. Second question. Question number two: An electron moves straight inside a charged parallel plane capacitor of uniform charge density sigma. The time taken by the electron to close the parallel plane capacitor when it the when the plates of the capacitor are kept under a constant magnetic field of induction B. Okay, so that is the question. So first we have to find out what what will be the net electric field. Net electric field will be. Inside the plate, parallel plate capacitor, the net electric field will be E1 plus E2. Okay, so both of them will be the opposite direction, and one is minus sigma, and the other one is plus sigma. So sigma, I mean E1 minus minus E2, that is E1 plus E2. Okay, so that will be the value. And then how much will be E1? That we have learned sigma by 2 epsilon 0, then sigma by 2 epsilon 0, totally sigma by epsilon 0. So net. Net force acting on that will be the net uh, Lorentz force will be net Lorentz force. Net Lorentz force will be the total force by magnetic Lorentz force and also the Coulomb's force. So F E plus F M is equal to zero. So F E is equal to F M. The magnitude we can we can say that magnitudes are equal. So E into E is equal to E into E B E V B. That is Q V B Q V B. Okay. And uh, which is equal to and what about sine theta? Sine theta we don't have to consider because it's in the direction in the in insert inside magnetic field is in, into the direction and uh, what about e? E is in this direction. I mean sorry, v is in this in the direction. I mean both are the both are both are perpendicular to each other. Any degree. So v is equal to e by v. And what about e? E is equal to sigma by epsilon zero. So you can substitute the value sigma by epsilon zero or maybe. And what about time? Time is equal to L by V. So time is equal to L by V. That is length divided by velocity, and which is equal to L epsilon zero or epsilon. Okay, if it is uh, medium, then epsilon, not free space. Then epsilon in the B divided by sigma. And two questions you can ask in this uh, particular question. That is one is why the net force is equal to zero? Because in the question it is given that in the question you can read the question again. It is given that. The the for I mean the velocity of that particular charge is is nothing but it's a constant velocity. So constant velocity in the sense then acceleration is equal to zero. That is net force is equal to zero. Okay. So that is why we use this equation also. Otherwise, if there is an acceleration, then the thing is wrong. Okay. There will be some force. So we cannot write this like this. Okay. So whenever you whenever there is a question like constant velocity, some something is moving in constant velocity. You have to consider always the net acceleration or net force acting on this will be equal to zero. All right. Thank you.